friends, Mary here. And as I mentioned in our last really quick clip that we put on social media, we're back on the road. And we are so excited uh, to be back living in our RV on the road. So to kind of catch you all up, uh, things have been a little weird for us lately. The first year we went to full-time RV living, we were on the road most of the time, and we absolutely loved it. Uh, last year, which was our second year, a little glitch to that plan. My husband's work actually required him to be in his office two days a week. And because of that, we were very restricted on how much we could travel. In fact, uh, we couldn't travel much at all. So we spent the majority of last year um, at just sort of stationary at Camp Atterbury in that Edinburgh, Indiana area. As you all may remember, that's what we sort of consider home base for us. So we spent the majority of the year there, including the winter last year. So quite an experience. I wish I had videoed more, but unfortunately I didn't because to be honest with you, the winter weather in an RV was just a bit daunting to me in the spirit of transparency. And so I just, um, I just didn't have anything exciting to share other than here we are in the cold surviving, right? Um, but this year, uh, it looked like my husband was going to be able to travel more. We were so excited. Um, and unfortunately, we had a family um, a health situation that came up. My husband's mother, her health began to decline. And so we just really, we had plans to leave Indiana just after Thanksgiving, uh, but her health was in such a way that we just didn't feel like that that was feasible for us to do. So we stuck around a little bit longer and sadly his mother passed. Um, so we were really glad that we had made that decision to just stay there with her and be, um, spend those last few days and weeks with her. So um, since then, we have finalized all of the things that needed to be done for that. And now we're back on the road. So um, as I mentioned, we uh, took two days, two and a half days uh, to drive out here. We went from Indiana to Nashville, Tennessee one evening. Um, in Nashville, we stayed at a campground that we have videoed before. That is Grand Ole RV Resort. So if you haven't watched that video, check it out. Um, and then on that was on Thursday that we did that. On Friday, we drove from Nashville to Little Rock Air Force Base. Again, a video that I've already done. So if you haven't seen that one in your military, you might wanna check that out. Um, and then from there, we drove to Tyler, Texas, uh, which is what brought us here. And uh, we are currently staying at the Tyler Oaks RV Resort. And it is just south of Interstate 20 in Tyler, Texas. A really great resort that we found online. We're really pleased uh, with the experience that we've had here thus far. We're only going to be staying here a couple of days because we are actually getting our RV fixed. Uh, we had an on-demand hot water heater put into our RV, which we were so excited about. Unfortunately, we've had a few issues with that. Uh, so we're taking it back to Camping World where we purchased our RV and where we got that hot water heater installed. We're taking it uh, back to get that serviced. And the great thing about this RV resort is that Camping World is literally across the street. In fact, there are three RV dealers right across the road from this campground. So if you're looking for some place to come in that East Texas or maybe a stopover location, uh, you might want to do a little RV shopping or whatever, or maybe you need some service done. This is a really great spot to do that because you can have all of that done really closely. So I'm going to show you around. I'm going to show you what the campsite looks like. I'm going to show you some of the amenities of the campground, but I can tell you it's easy access to this campground, super convenient to the interstates, but yet uh, far enough away that you don't get that really heavy interstate noise. And the campground just has a whole lot to offer. So let's take a look around and then we'll come back here and close everything up. Let's look around.
Now this is our campsite. We are only here for two days, so uh, they were very kind. They gave us a pull-through site, although there are a lot of pull-throughs. Um, most of these sites that you see in this general area are all pull-through sites, so really easy to get in and out. Every site does have a cement pad, which you can see there. Uh, there are some small trees. This is pretty typical of East Texas. Um, they do have fire pits, and there is firewood for sale that you can purchase. Um, they do have one vehicle is allowed, so you can see there we have our vehicle just parked um, across uh, the front of our site there, and then there are tables at each one. These are full hookup sites, so we do have water, sewage, and electric, and we also, even though there is not cable here, we were able to get a lot of channels just with our antenna on the RV, so that's a quick look at what the site looks like. So here's the laundry room. It is attached to the office and we'll go in here and take a quick look. So here's the laundry area and each of these units, there's a washer on the left, dryer on the right, and there are, I believe there are six of them, So there they are. It is a dollar and fifty cents to wash, as you can see here, and then to dry, it's a dollar and twenty-five cents. So really, not too bad. I will tell you that the dollar and twenty-five cents for the drying, it gives you twenty-five minutes to dry. We're about to find out whether or not twenty-five minutes is enough, or if we're going to have to extend that out. But as I said, this is located attached to the office, um, really conveniently located to the campground. So you can see right out there is where our campsites are. Um, so really convenient in here, really nice, very well kept laundry room. Now this area is behind the laundry room in the office and this you can play horseshoes or washers which is a similar uh, type of game and then over here to your left this building here is actually what they call the event center so when they're hosting events parties and things like that that's going to take place in this building and then of course like i said this is that office and laundry area um, and this all sits directly behind that just to the right of that laundry and the horseshoe area is this playground area. So we have one here uh, where we have outdoor play equipment here. And then just across this little walkway, uh, you'll see this enclosed area for younger kids, which is really great as well. And then just beyond this play area, I'll walk over here towards it, you can see that there's a large covered pavilion um, that has tables in there that you can use. There are also, uh, there's an outdoor kitchen down here on this end. So if you want to use uh, the sink, there's a stove out there, there's a grill. And down here at this end, there's a beautiful fireplace. So uh, a lot of amenities here that you can use both at your site and um, around the RV resort. So this, I love this area here. It's got this seating area. You can build a fire in there. Just really beautiful. And on the other side of this fireplace is the pool. So there is a pool here. Really nice pool. Now we're here in January, so we're probably not going to be taking advantage of that, but it is a really nice pool. Now this resort also has two ponds on the property and I'm going to show you both of them. This is the first one and I'm going to pan over here. Um, if you were to look just beyond that fence in the business, actually if I go this way, I think I can kind of zoom in there a little bit. Out there is the road that you turn into this RV park on. You can kind of see that RV dealership that I talked about earlier as well. Uh, just through those trees. So this is the pond that is closest to that side of the resort. Just a really cute pond and I'll take you over and show you the other one as well. 
Now this is the road, uh, that pond that I just showed you would be right over there. You can see it through those RVs. And now this is the road that separates it, but there's also, uh, there's a dog park area. So if you want to bring your dog over here and just kind of turn them loose and let them run, you have a nice secure fenced in area for that. And then I'm going to show you right here, the bathrooms and the showers. I'll take you inside and let you look at those. And we're going to go behind the shower building to see that second pond that I told you about. Let's go inside and take a look. Now I do want to tell you that the shower houses do have a secure code and they'll issue that code to you when you check in. But it's nice to know that uh, nobody's going to find their way in here if you're using this. It is a really nice area, super clean. This is the sink area. Uh, we have these showers and I want to show you inside here because I just love this. Look, it's a water or a rainfall shower. I don't know what those are called. I think that's what it's called, rainfall shower. Uh, but a really nice big shower area. There are hooks over here um, and light switches for each shower. I guess that's a little better view there. Um, each one does also have a bench, but I gotta tell you, this is probably one of my favorite things. And I know it's a little thing, but I really hate having to get all the way in the shower to turn it on because if the water's not very warm, that can be shocking. Um, so I love it that they put uh, the handles to turn the water on outside of the shower so you can do that without soaking yourself. So those are the showers. And then I'm gonna show you there are restrooms in here as well. So just a really great restroom opportunity. Now this building you see here to my left of the screen, this is actually that shower house that we just exited. And right behind that is this second pond that's on the property. It's just beautiful, right? Just a really gorgeous area. And I just wanna reiterate, this is January, early January in East Texas. <laughs> so um, it's a gorgeous day. It's probably in the 50s. There's a little bit of a breeze, but it's absolutely sunny, beautiful, and gorgeous. So there you go. That is a look at Tyler Oaks RV Resort. Um, I don't think I mentioned this earlier, but there are 117 campsites here at this campground. So it's a very large campground, uh, but you don't really feel like you're on top of people. Um, the people who stay here are really what I call really good, true RVers. Uh, they respect each other's space. They respect um, the, uh, the facilities. They respect the, um, the quiet hours, all of those things. It's super, super nice. We have loved our time here. I'm a little sad that we're leaving, but that little teaser that I gave you a couple of days ago, um, I think you might recognize that we're getting ready to do something kind of exciting for us anyway. And uh, so in order for us to get that part started, we have to leave here. But if you are ever uh, going on Interstate 20, either east or west, uh, Tyler, Texas sits between Shreveport, Louisiana and Dallas on Interstate 20. And this RV park, like I said, is probably four or five miles um, straight down south of Interstate 20 at Tyler. Super convenient, easy to get in and out of. Um, a resort that was truly made for full-time RVers and for big rig RVers. So check it out. And uh, as always, we're Hendrick Home on the Highway, and we'll see you down the road.